वेलकम टू वार इंडिया न्यूज आर इज द वर्ल्ड गोइंग टू फेस अनादर रिसेशन इन द इयर 2023? थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी इज एंटरिंग अ प्रोनाउंस्ड स्लो डाउन अमिड फ्रेश थ्रेट्स फ्रॉम कोविड नाइन्टीन वेरियंस एंड अ राइज इन इन्फ्लेशन डेट एंड इनकम इन इक्वालिटी दैट कुड एंडेंजर द रिकवरी इन एमर्जिंग एंड डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ल्ड बैंक्स लेटेस्ट ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स रिपोर्ट Global growth is expected to decelerate markedly from 5.5% in 2021 to 4.1% in 2022 and 3.2% in 2023 as pent up demand dissipates and fiscal and monetary support is unwound across the world. The rapid spread of the Omicron variant indicates that the pandemic will likely continue to disrupt economic activity in the near term. In addition, a notable deceleration in major economies including the United States and China will weigh on external demand in emerging and developing economies. The world economy is simultaneously facing COVID-19, inflation and policy uncertainty with government spending on monetary policies in uncharted territory. Rising inequality and security challenges are particularly harmful for developing countries, said World Bank Group President David Malpass. putting more countries on a favorable growth path requires concerted international action and a comprehensive set of national policy responses as per the world bank report the slowdown will coincide with a widening divergence in growth rates between advanced economies and emerging and developing economies growth in advanced economies is expected to decline from 5% in 2021 to 3.8% in 2022 and 2.3% in 2023 a pace that while moderating will be sufficient to restore output and investment to their pre-pandemic trend in these economies while deutsche bank is the first major bank to forecast an imminent economic downturn investors both retail and professional share the group's gloomy outlook according to a bloomberg markets live survey conducted between march 29th and april 1st 48% of investors expect the us to fall into recession in 2023 Another 21% expect the downturn to happen in 2024 while 15% of the 225 respondents expect the recession to come as early as this year with the pandemic still lingering the russian invasion of ukraine putting additional pressure on already surging consumer prices and chinese lockdowns potentially disrupting supply chains the economic outlook is currently clouded by uncertainties and when there are clouds there is often a chance of rain or in this case a recession experts say in light of the projected slowdown in output and investment growth limited policy space and substantial risks clouding the outlook emerging and developing economies will need to carefully calibrate fiscal and monetary policies they also need to undertake reforms to erase the scars of the pandemic These reforms should be designed to improve investment and human capital, reverse income and gender inequality and cope with challenges of climate change. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. More than 2500 SpaceX satellites launched. A Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base to add another 53 Starlink satellites to SpaceX's low earth orbit communications constellation bringing the total launch to more than 2500 the addition of another 53 satellites brings the total launched up to 2547 the successful launch took place from Space Launch Complex 4E at the West Coast launch site and entered a 53.2 degree orbit The first generation Starlink constellation will consist of 4408 satellites. Aramco generates 40 billion dollars Q1 profit amid oil price hike. Saudi Aramco reported a net profit of 39.5 billion dollars for the first quarter of the year on the back of increasingly strong crude oil prices. The figure represented an 82% annual improvement and a record quarterly profit for Aramco since it went public. Free cash flow rose to 30.6 billion dollars from 18.3 billion dollars a year earlier and cash flow from operating activities went up to 38.2 billion dollars from 26.5 billion dollars a year ago. Aramco recently dismissed Apple as the world's most valuable company as rising oil prices pushed its stock higher for a total market cap of 2.426 trillion dollars. 
Researchers find potential way to run malware on iPhone even when it's off. A first-of-its-kind security analysis of iOS Find My Function has identified an attack surface that makes it possible to interfere with the firmware and load malware onto a Bluetooth chip that is executed while an iPhone is off. The mechanism takes advantage of the wireless chips related to Bluetooth, near-field communication and ultra-wideband continue to operate while iOS is shut down when entering a power reserve low power mode. HCL Tech to double headcounts in nearshore locations. IT services company HCL Tech plans to double its headcount in nearshore locations over the next three to five years. The company operates from 20 nearshore locations, including Mexico, Toronto, Vancouver, Costa Rica, and Romania. The company employs about 10,000 people in all its nearshore locations globally. Apart from lateral hiring, the company is looking to hire 35,000 to 40,000 freshers this year, depending on demand, attrition, and other factors. Zeroda CEO says 90% of the team will permanently work from home. According to CEO and co-founder Nitin Kamath, nearly 1,100 employees of Zeroda will work from home permanently. Kamath said that the core team will work on a hybrid model. The company had moved operations online after the closure of many offices and workplaces in the pandemic. For its employees working from home, the company had started setting up satellite offices in smaller towns in Karnataka. Zeroda is India's largest stock broker with over 9 million clients, accounting for over 15% of the country's retail trading volumes. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.